Astrologically speaking, we're 11 years into the Aquarian age. Our vibrational frequency should have ascended the fifth dimension 11 years ago. Shit ain't changing. Don't you think I know that? But just because we have the opportunity doesn't mean we go about it in a reckless way. We need to be careful. This is history we're playing with. Look at this. Let's go to the beginning of the time when these beings first came to our planet. Back when Atlantis thrived. Why not destroy these white supremacist forces once and for all? No. We're not the creator, nor should we act as so. But we can be. Think about it. We can make it so that our people live like kings and queens all through space and time. Osiris, that's way out of our timeline jurisdiction. The priority objective is to prevent the metaphysical and spiritual torture of our people. That is our mission. Our people are dying, and you're proposing that we should destroy them once and for all? This is the future. Let's go back and change our future. I'm saying we need to exhaust all of our possibilities. We're still alive, right? Melanated and all. That means something. We still have our abilities. That means something. Us creating a time machine using crystals in our third eye means something. And I have to believe that it's because of a higher purpose. When then? What time period is most suitable for our mission? Well, I've been doing some research, and the first awakening began in 2012. And coincidentally, we had a melanated president at that time. A melanated president? That shit was a myth. That shit never existed. No, I guarantee you it did. They just erased it from the history books in 2066, and apparently he had two terms. You say so. I don't know how much truth it is to that theory. 2012. That was the same year that the Indigros woke up. That's when they gained their metaphysical abilities. Shit, if we if we go to 2012, galvanize the light workers and the Indigos. Yeah, yeah. But that means nothing without the melanated women. They've always been the target. They're the mothers of civilization. If we save our women, we save our people. Look at this. Let's go back. 2017. That was the year of pure potentiality. If we go back in 2017, America, expand America's consciousness then, we could probably end all of this. See, now you're talking because that was also the time of the second civil rights movement. We have to leave tonight at 11-11. Shit, let's leave now. No, if we want to do this right, we have to tune into that frequency. 11-11 it is. <laughs> 